Alrighty guys, today Applied Desert is playing a horror game called A Madman's Guide to Happiness, I believe. So yeah, uh, here we go guys. Um, instead of doing a Skyblock game, I'm actually going to be doing a um, horror game like when we did uh, White Noise. So yeah, it's called A Madman's Guide to Happiness. Basically, the premise of it is... We are a police detective who is searching a suicide victim's computer to try and find out why they killed themselves. So, yeah. And uh, also, I heard it's got a couple of jump scares, maybe, so I said not to play with the lights off. Um, it's not, I'm not scared or anything, but I am playing during the day, but it's not because I'm scared. It's because this is really, my parents are at Walmart, and this is a pretty good time, I thought, to start recording. So, yeah, let's first start. You're the first officer to arrive at the scene. Strange noises were reported, then screaming. You see a body hanging from the ceiling. Suicide. The computer is still on, you check it for clues. It is filled with rantings and encrypted files. But it claims that whoever gains access to these files will gain the secret to happiness. You begin to click. Okay. It's already, um... Their background, it looks like... Is... Like a tunnel like a sewer it looks like and we can't actually go to any of the other files Just click, um, oh press start now. the princess loves her little bows with all her little heart out of the one out of the four colors she chooses the blue one you have four colors in front of you too if you choose the blue one you can unlock this file no. incorrect you have one final chance I was kind of loud. And thus, the secret of happiness was lost forever. And the princess turned to dust. First A to retry. You only you have four colors in front of you too. If you choose the blue one, you can't on this spot. No. I don't know what to do. Hold on. That was actually pretty scary. I didn't expect it. Princess loves her little bows. How do we move around? I don't get it! I don't get it! Oh! We have to press X because it's the four colors of the letters on the controller. X is blue, A is green, B is red, and Y is yellow. It took you a long time to reach here from your magic tower, Princess. Your blessed feet still battered and filthy from that wretched wood with its corrupt streams and trees that whisper their putrid secrets into your precious ears. Your clear eyes still dulled and lifeless from the eons, I guess, spent in that dark, damp tower that gave you not a drop of daylight's playful majesty. Your little wrists, oh, your little wrists, still scratched and swollen from the rusty disease ridden shackles they forced upon you to prevent your escape to a better place where they could not keep their perverted, vulture-like eyes on you. Your tongue so dry from the dirt, they tried to force down you like water. But you have escaped now, and it will all be made better. For I have found the secret of happiness, and with it all dark memories will fade away and be replaced with nothing but gardens of crystal flowers and butterflies that sing with men. And sing they shall, sweet, sweet princess. Say for next file or Okay, it popped up some a little bit. I think it was the same face we got. Whatever, we got something wrong. There are two parts you must understand, Princess. The first is that it is... The first is what it is that has prevented you from achieving happiness. The great enemy, if you will. Not just for your happiness, but my happiness and the happiness of everyone in the world. Even the animals and the plants have had their happiness stunted by this blacksmith of misery. Dang, we're having to read a lot. Hopefully you guys won't get bored, but, uh, also this thing only got rated three stars, so, and, uh, I heard it's, uh, I researched it, and it's relatively short, apparently, but I don't know what to expect. I didn't watch a video, I just heard it's short, so, uh, but there were six files. Um, then you, then when you know your opponent, you must understand the second, however, how to defeat them. You may have to rip out their intestines. You may have to gouge out their eyes, and while this may be hard and straining for your little hands, princess, the chalice of happiness is so full to the brim with sweet nectar and strawberry bits that it will be more than adequate compensation. 
but I must test you for revealing the secret of happiness to a dim mind like trying to discuss philosophy with a crab. Alright, we got a crime baby. And, I don't know. Oh, frick. Wait. I'm making the size bigger. Whoa. Okay, well, that was kind of scary, I guess, but I don't know if I was pressing anything to make her eye bigger or what. But, uh, so yeah, now we're on to number two. Oh, yeah, I saw about this one. We have to do math here. Uh, oh, and the suicide victim is a guy, too, so he's talking about princesses and bows and stuff and dolls, and he's a guy, so you already know he's weird. But, uh, the princess did very well escaping from the tower, but it was a harsh journey. It would have taken her one hour to reach me, and her legs, but her legs are broken, so it took her double this time, so two hours. And her arms are broken, so this time was doubled again, so four hours. And her mind was broken, so yet it was doubled again, eight hours. But the wind blew in the right direction, which got her only here 16 times faster than her broken little body and mind should have been able to. 16 times? Wait, so double would have been two times, doubled again four times. Doubled yet again would have been eight times. <laughs> but 16 times, it should have taken her 30 minutes. Yep, there we go, we got it. Listen, the enemy binds not just you or I, but the frog, the worm, the germ, the leak of plants, and on and into infinitum, and works like magic. No, no, I thought it was going to start rapping, like rhyming and stuff. But the frog, the worm, the germ, the leak <laughs> But, uh, the leafy plants. Oh, if you guys can't hear me that well, maybe you can't know. But I've been talking pretty loud most of the time, so. Uh, the germ, the leafy pants, and on and on into infinity, in, infinitum. It works, it's magics now, it has worked them in the past, and it will work them in the future. It is faceless and unloving, but it does not hate either. Despite holding back the chalice of happiness from us, we should not hate it, for it forgave us. For it gave us everything we have now. To hate it would be like hating our own parents, but we must fight it for a life living off nothing, but an occasional lick of condensation from the chalice is no life at all. Do not fear fighting it, for even if you bloody it, it will not care, nor it will feel anything at all. Your first and only clue to the enemy is little monkeys. I bet there's going to be a jump scare here. Oh, no, it's just somebody's slit wrist. Gosh. I used to be sad and cut my own wrist. I used to be mad and slice my own veins. I used to be bad and tore my own skin. But then I became happy. Oh, God. And I laughed till I puked up blood. That was weird. Alright, we're going to pop. I hear floorboards creeping behind me. Press right trigger to turn around. Looks like it was nothing. Smile for me, princess. It's the same sound effect for the doll. Princess's mind has been shattered like a beautiful glass whale because of her ordeal. Can you count how many triangles her mind is shattered into? Remember, there are larger triangles made up of several smaller ones. So that'd be one, two, three, four on the outside. Then one, two, three, four again. Eight. Wait, 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 wait. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe twelve. If you count those. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 9, 10, 11, 12, then we got 13, 14, 15, 16? No. No? Then I'm gonna, yeah, press Y for 20. I knew it wasn't 12, so if you said no for uh, not being 16, then it had to be 20. Uh, evolution. Evolution is the enemy that we must fight, but also that we must love, because it brought us into being. The only thing that slows this down, this game, is all this text that we have to read. That really is pointless, because I could care less what the enemy is, even though it said little monkeys, but uh, yeah, so, um, because it brought us into being, and how can you not love it, it has so many lovely little monkeys, you seek to know why it only lets us sip at the chalice rather than go, let me explain, evolution is a system based on survival, the fittest survive, the strongest survive, the best survive, the survivist survive, if you took one of the little deers, filled them up with happy pills, how long do you think it would survive, drugged up against a tree, giggling to itself? If it had happiness given to it on a plate, it would be munching down on it no matter how many lions or T-Rexes brought their fangs down on it. For any individual species back then, 
getting hold of Euphoria is a free ticket to death thanks to the system we know as evolution. Evolution cannot abide total happiness. Evolution will let you sip at the chalice when you do something that benefits your survival or your species survival. When you have sex, so oh gosh, when you eat and when you rest. Okay, so those are the things that are beneficial for survival. It was a good system. We were monkeys. We would have died in the wild without these incentives. But these are only tiny fleeting moments in our lives. Why can't these moments last forever rather than being restricted to end of a, to end of a task with benefit survival? Evolution, you have served us well, but we are no longer monkeys. For the sake of my beloved princess, I must kill you. Like how a chick must be thankful to its shell for protecting it, but must ultimately destroy it to join the world. <laughs> kind of makes sense, but uh... So yeah, Little Monkeys, it was talking about us at the beginning of evolution, I think, is what it was talking about. So apparently a person um, made them kill themselves. So per se, it's going to be a jump scare. Oh, it's, a, it's a bird. <clears throat> I do not care if you decide to crush me, for I am a monster who chose to kill his own eggshell. So, so the little bird's a monster because he just he destroyed his... So we're on file four, we got two, well, three more left in. I love my little friends, but I need help to count them. Which section has the most two-legged spiders? Even if they're, even if just part of their sexy legs, sexy legs is in the section you must count that as a spider. Bottom, right, left, or up? Ooh, okay. So even if a part of their legs, you have to count them as a spider in there. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in the in the left one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the top one, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five in the right one, I have the most, okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, so it's gonna be the bottom, yep, okay, we got it. Oh gosh, this is so much to read. As the birth, cre I'll, I'll read it as fast as I can. As the birth creatures of evolution, which is of such a nature that it could not allow us to taste unlimited happiness without destroying us, it is now up to us and no one or nothing else to rise up and take our much needed for you. Now you know our opponent. You must know how to defeat it. The answer and explanation is this: We must remove ourselves from evolution. We must remove ourselves from its factors and cycles and situations and forests. Humans have already begun to see this, and we have begun to move ourselves forward slowly. Scientists have seen this, and they begin to create new drugs to dispel pain and turn depression into happiness. The religious have seen this, and they strive for their place in paradise after death. The philosophers have seen this, and they try and they try peek into the well, try to peek into the well of happiness through thought. All noble warriors, but it is not enough. There is something much closer to us. We need to do something more basic, intuitive. That tugs on the threads of our very being. Read on. Precious little monkeys live precious little lives. Precious little lives eat precious little monkeys. It's precious to eat monkeys little lives. Okay. Oh god, now it shows somebody's hand in what, what is that, glass? Or just... A wide-eyed detective who would hang himself several years later walked into a crime scene. There were four bodies lying on the ground and it looked like they had been killed by a pack of dogs. Each body had one limb ripped off that must have been taken away by the pack. Aside from the four human remains, there are the remains of two dogs fully intact at the scene. How many limbs are there at the scene? Or at the scene. So, there are four bodies on the ground. So, four times four is sixteen limbs, because we all have four limbs, two arms, and two legs. Wait, 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 wait. That'd be for one... Wait. Yeah, that'd be sixteen limbs... But each body had one limb ripped off, so that'd be a total of four minus sixteen is twelve. And then there's two dogs fully intact, which have four limbs. So that'd be eight plus twelve is twenty. No. What? Wait, wait, wait. Eight plus twelve. That's twenty. Wait, there were four bodies lying on the ground, and it looked like they had been killed by them. Each body had one limb ripped off. Four bodies on the ground. Oh, how many limbs are obscene? It's 24. Because the, the detective that's at the scene has four limbs too. So you had four of his limbs. 
to the 20 of all the people on the ground, plus him looking at the sink. Well done. Not many would have thought to count the detective's limbs as well. Oh, well, we just read it. Yeah, so I actually figured it out and said it before. But this is a dead spider. They have eight limbs. Greedy and a bit selfish of them. I'm not oppressed. Impressed, not oppressed. We have the science, will, and intelligence to grasp that danged chalice. I don't like to cuss on my channel. Uh, at the very least, collectively, why then do we not simply take it? The answer is this. We lack the power. For everything we have, we are no more than wailing babies because we like power. And the reason we like power is because to our shame we simply gave it away. We are the primary point at which our thoughts and feelings are created, and we have great power to bend and twist them to our will. Yet shamefully, repulsively even, we not only don't acknowledge this, but we project our, project our power onto inanimate objects that not only don't have power, but they would not even care if they did. Observe, a rock falls on a man's foot and he feels pain. The foolish man blames the rock and throws fits of anger while screaming about how the rock has ruined his day. The wise man realizes that while the rock is responsible for his pain, he is angry because he has allowed himself to become angry. Knowing that he is responsible for his anger, anger he realizes that he, not the rock, has the power to turn it off and on. Oh my god. It's all about empowerment. Self-empowerment. You have the power to kill yourself. You really have power. If you never realize you have power, over your own happiness, then you are no more than a leaf in the wind at the mercy of any pixie that cares to grab you. How pitiful is the man who claims his lunch is ruined because he has the wrong type of sandwich and spends the rest of the day sulking in the office. Oh, who would do that? Who would, who would throw a fit of rage like that at a rock landing on his foot and say it ruins his day or having the wrong sandwich? Like, if it's peanut butter or ham and cheese, I mean, it's not going to freaking matter. How strong and radiant is the man who realizes that his unhappiness is due to his own failings, swallows the sandwich in a single mighty gulp, and then dances on his desk. One is weak, one is strong, one is sad, one is happy. We can have this power because of our intellect. Our intelligence is our great strength against evolution. Because, for as powerful as evolution is, it lacks intelligence. It does not know that we know of its some smothering evil ways. Once we know we have power and use that power, we can overcome the happiness, unhappiness that evolution has caused us. I have a story to tell you in the next file. Next and final file. Get out. Shit, uh, talky mushrooms. Stupid, naive, weak, useless, hope. What does that spell out? S-S-N-W-V. Thief is the big thing. Oh, when it said recording play, but I think I talked over that, but it says stupid, naive, weak, useless, hope. All you have to do is shoot the bad man. No, 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 uh, this must have been made by a British person. Mum, wife, son, friends deserve to suffer for his sins. He can never laugh again. He can never dream again. He can never hug again. Murderers are like the gods of never. He liked to hug people with his arms. He was a right-handed guy. Murderers are like the gods. <coughs> Here's my story, sweet princess. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, when you were very young, me and the queen lived with you in happiness and peace. See, me and the queen, see, well, at least we know he's not gay, but he is pretty crazy. But he's, def he's the king, obviously, so we lived with you in happiness and peace. But then one day a demon seduced the queen from me, and she took you to go and live with a demon in the tower. I tried to get you back many times, many, many times, but eventually the demon got his little friends with their loud metal dragons that flashed blue lights to carry me away. The king was sad. The king blamed the demon, but this did nothing. The king blamed the demon's friends, but this did nothing. The king blamed the queen, but this did nothing. The king even blamed you. So what I'm trying, what I think I'm getting from this is, he was a married man with a kid, and uh, his kid got taken away from him. And most of the times, when uh, a kid gets taken, like when parents get divorced and they have one kid, or even multiple kids, um, they always move away with the mom. So apparently the mom moved away, and the metal dragons that flashed blue lights, blue lights immediately made me think of police cars, metal dragons that are made out of metal. Uh, so 
those might be police cars. Um, so he blamed the demon, whoever took them away, whoever divorced them, I guess. The demon's friends, it says, his little friends, I guess they're the policemen, the queen, his wife, and then you. The princess is his child, apparently. Then eventually the king realized that he was to blame. When he realized that only he had the power to ultimately stop him from being sad, he gained power. Or he killed himself. The king used that power to kill one of the devil's friends. It was a wonderful thing. The king was no longer sad, and instead the queen was sad. She felt guilty and left the devil, and often took the princess to see the king in his new home called Asylum. Huh. Oh, so the demon that took him away might have been another man. See, it says... You killed one of the devil's friends, must have killed one of um, his ex-wife's husband's friends, and then he wasn't sad, the queen was sad. She left the, uh, the, the, her husband and took the princess or the child to see the king, which is him, in his jail. So he must have done something bad that forced him to get, uh, well, no, he obviously got arrested for killing God, okay, anyways, but the king could only stay in an asylum for so many years. He worried that when he had to leave, that the queen would no longer feel guilty and come to see him. The thoughts consumed him and twisted his mind with fear until he took a rope with the intent to take his life. That means kill himself, princess. And so, I have the rope in my hands, and I have finished the guy to allow you to be happy. There's nothing left. Three. Well, no puzzles this time, sorry. This note is not to the princess, but person who is reading this document. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't hang myself. thought of not seeing the queen and the princess over here was too much, so I used a little more power. I hung the devil and says that they will take him back. Am I, and I am hiding in the room now, waiting for someone to read this document so I can kill them from behind, just to make super sure they let me into the asylum again. I wish you the best of happiness, and I'm so sorry. What the crap? He smashed our head against the computer screen. That's why it was cracked. Credits. Creator, designer, writer, John Sturrock. Please say friends with this Remember to be happy. Uh, check out the 8-Bit Girlfriend. And, well, okay. So, there you have it, guys. Um, turns out he wasn't, uh, he didn't commit suicide. He, he murdered the, um, the ex-husband... Because he got into jail the first time for just killing the uh, the uh, ex the the ex -hu the ex wife's husband husband's friend, and then he got out. Apparently, he got into an asylum instead of normal jail because they thought he was crazy, which he obviously was. Uh, and then uh, they um then he hung and killed the actual ex husband ex wife's husband. So yeah, and then he killed us, which is great. He smashed our head into a that's who we heard on the floor creaking. But anyways, yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you This game, again, only cost 80 Microsoft points, and I actually had 90 Microsoft points, and I have 10 left over, so I barely was able to get it. But I wanted to do something, like I said, for you guys, other than Skyblock, because you guys might be getting tired of that or something, and I figured this would be just a good little way to get a break from that. So, um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. If you want me to do more horror games or scary type games, then please feel free to post in the comments um, ones that you have suggestions for on the Xbox. Uh, only suggest Xbox ones right now, <coughs> because um, I don't really have anything set up on my computer to actually uh, screen capture the screen and uh, record uh, games on my computer yet. But uh, guys, yeah, just post in the comments any games, any, they can be any games really, but any scary games that uh, you guys want me to play. So, and also, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to leave a like and comment, like I said, and uh, make sure you also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and have a nice day.